Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Borgonzo here. What's next? Um, after my last video, we are going to delve back into the world of politics because, like I said previously, it's just too juicy um, to ignore. Um, especially when you have an ignorant such as this. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breibart. CNN's Brian Stelter, you know, the little eunuch, so lovingly named by one Tucker Carlson boss, to White House Press Secretary Jen Circle Back Girl Saki, how do you stay as close to the truth in this world of lies? Ooh, intriguing. And there he is, you know, George Costanza's son, clown boy, eunuch, you name it. CNN's Brian Stelter hosted White House Press Secretary Jennifer Saki on Reliable Sources on Sunday morning and asked a series of obsequious questions, if I pronounce that correctly, including, quote, advice for journalists about how to stay as close to the truth in this world of lies. Ooh. CNN's Brian Stelter to Saki, for journalists who want to watch what you do, what's your advice for them to try to stay as close to the truth in this world of lies? Here is a full list of hard-hitting journalistic questions that Stelter posed to Saki on Sunday. What does the press get wrong when covering Biden's agenda? When you watch the news, when you read the news, what do you think we get wrong? There were times in your briefings where you seem so comfortable. Then there's times when you seem frustrated by the lines of questioning. So I want to know what, is, what the job's like versus what you, do you expect it to be like. So the questions are based off falsehoods. They come from brands like Newsmax, which does sometimes get called, in, uh, get called on in the I know a lot about liberals, don't want Fox News to get called on. I think they should be. But I know a lot of liberals, a lot, a lot of Democrats don't want it. So why do you call on Fox News and Newsmax? He said in his inaugural, we all have a duty to defend the truth and defeat the lies. Five months in, do you feel you've made any progress defeating the lies? Obviously, the press corps wants to talk about the president more often. Why haven't you held uh, more than one press conference? And yada, yada. Yeah, these, 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 these questions are uh, clownery and buffoonery. Um, I'll throw one more in. So you're saying that you have a reality-based circus at the White House currently. Last week, Fox News reported that Vogue magazine was preparing a possible profile of Saki. Vogue never once featured then First Lady Melania Trump, the former international model, throughout her four years in the White House. My take... Um, one, Steltner is a clown, a buffoon, a moron, a cretin, a maroon. Uh, did I say maroon? Sure, let me throw that in there twice. Um, he's as much as a journalist as Shaquille O'Neal is. And that's, to me, I think that's insulting Shaquille O'Neal. But... Saki, who's been there before with the Obama administration, you know, she was ignorant then, and that's usually lack of knowledge. That's fine. But this is your second time around, and you're even more ignorant now. Um, that's sad. Um, so when you go on a show like Reliable Sources, yeah. They should call it more like reliable nonsense because that's pretty much what it is. That's that's what Steltner does. That's what, you know, little Costanza does. Um, I can't do the voice of Steltner. Um, I, I thought about it before I started reading off the questions, but I wouldn't have not done Mark, uh, Mark Dice justice. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't going to make the attempt. Um, but he's a clown boy. And when you're interviewing the circle back girl, what did you expect this interview to be like? Did you expect any kind of hard hitting news? Any kind of 
you know, strong retaliation, any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of fastball questions. No. Beach balls. That's all he threw. Roundhead decided to throw beach balls at Saki. So, uh, I love when Tucker calls him a eunuch. I love when Mark Dice does the voice and just destroys him um, because every time he opens his mouth, more and more nonsense come out, more and more uh, clownery. Um, but what do you expect uh, from a guy who at one point was selling ice cream cones um, out of a truck? Not to say that selling ice cream cones out of a truck is a bad thing because a lot of people um, do do that as well as food trucks. So I give them all their respect because they work hard. This buffoon, this moron doesn't do a quarter of the work that they do. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you don't see a thing. So you don't miss a thing. Excuse me. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.